Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss very important topic in the Fusion Financials applications. It is interlinked with the, across all the finance models, APR, GLFA, cash flow, all together. Why? Because it's a sub ledger kind of uh, information. So currently, so the business use case is that how to derive liability code combination based on SLA as a custom thing, right? So here, the current liability code is, so this is the current liability code, which is deriving for the supplier invoices. So 101, 10, 21, 100, triple zeros, triple zeros, zeros. Now, the business wants to derive liability code combination based on the cost center best, right? So in this case, how you're going to achieving this requirement. So for that, we'll be discussing about the mapping sets and accounts roles. So let, let's get into application. So here we need to perform some of the configurations, which are the important. Go to navigation. Functional area, financial offers, select variables, all tasks. Here you can go ahead. Look for mapping sets. Here it is the mapping sets. So here already I have created one of the mapping sets. I will work through that. So new MP, mapping sets. So what I did here, I create based on my business user requirement. So here I have given name, short name, and uh, this is as everything is same, common. And output type is segment, because I want to derive the code combination for specific segment value. So that is what here, output type, segment, subledger applications, variables, input source. So these are the two attributes I have selected. One is invoice source and secondly, invoice type under the input source and chart of accounts. So what is the chart of account? The client is using that we need to select here. Since it is a demo instance, we can have the multiple chart of accounts. We can select ES1 chart of accounts. And here we need to be very careful. We need to we need to select the which is the right segment we want to derive. Here I can see generally while creating that we can see all the chart of accounts or the all the chart of accounts values here. I mean to say segment values. And the last one, ES chart of accounts mappings. How you are going to mapping this mapping sets to the value. So in the top, under the input source, we have selected invoice source and invoice type. Similarly, now we are going to providing the, what is the value for them. Invoice source is that if the user is going to enter the invoice, enter the invoice by manually, in this case, invoice source is equal to manual invoice entry and invoice type. If the invoice type is equal to standard invoice, then the cost entry should be 121. So this is the one, our output information when we run the accounting mode as draft or final. Just keep in mind, so what are the input source we have selected here? We need to provide the value for them under the mapping sets. Then only it will work as we expected. So now here we are good. So then after finally check the status. It should be always active mode. That we can do here, go to the action, duplicate, delete, change status. If you want to inactive, that also possible. You can inactive this as well as save and close. So this is how we can create mapping sets based on the need. Click on done, go back, account rule. See this mapping sets supporting to your accounting rule. Ultimately, the general entries will be deriving based on the account rule. So go to manage accounts rule. 
here already I have created one more account rule. So here I can see new AR. So here need to provide name, chart name, select chart of accounts, type rule type is segment, which which segment you want to derive here. It's a cost sentence segment value. The rule is saying here. Here, just keep in mind while we're creating these accounts rules in the real time or the client place, valid type, there are five types. Yeah, five types are there. One is account rule, constant, formula, mapping sets, and source. So these things we need to select based on the your requirement. My requirement is that now I used mapping sets how to derive the segment value segment value for the liability code combination, right? So here I can select mapping set and this is what my mapping set which i have created over there if you want to see i'll show what i have created all of them here xyz cost center october new underscore mapping sets so if additionally if you want to write any conditions based on the current requirement that is also possible just go to click on source and then give the all the conditions based on the requirement here and then do the validation it means once you do the validation system will validate your source what what conditions you have written here so once everything looks good then check the status status is always you should always be active mode click on save and close yes so this is how you should create account rule and map the mapping sets to the accounts rule you should be always associated with the your accounting rule otherwise system will not able to understand to derive the code combination for the liability like library account so click on done so now what can be done so now just we created and kept as it is so our expectation is that we need to derive the liability code combination right so in this case this account rule we need to associate with the your journal line entry rule set as well as this is another important setup which is subsequent setup for us so here yesterday i have created one more let's see if you say just click on no, then we easy to get our what I created. Yeah. Here I can see invoice accrual base new. This is what I created yesterday. Just click on that. It will take a while. Yes. So this page will decide or determine that how your liability code segments will be deriving while we run the credit accounting program for the payable model. So this is a completely, this is a very, very important page we, where we are going to provide in the, all the segment values here. Segment or account rule, both are same. Don't get confused because when we are seeing this page, under the rule set, this look like as a looks segment rules, which is nothing but as a account rule, what we defined the previous step. So here you can see line type, journal line rule, accounting class, account combination rule. So now my, my sorry, yeah. So my requirement is here, line type is credit and uh, line rule is that liability with automatic offset method is balancing method and cost center i want to derive my cost center for the liability account right 
So here I have given my new account rule what I created in the previous step. Here you can see new AR, new account rule. So previously I created some other things also for testing purpose here. So now I can I will be choosing new AR. So once everything looks good, go tab and save. You can see change status also. Normally active, inactive, lock, remove lock. Save and close. So now we completed all the setups which we required. One is that identify the natural account. I mean to say which segment you want to derive the cost center value. And then we have done the mapping sets, how to done how to do the mapping sets and how to create account rules and how to associate these accounts to accounts rules to your general line rule set. This all things we have done, right? So ideally, general rule set will be associated with the your accounting method. So that when you run the create accounting program, automatically system will go and do cut the all the validation SLA what we have defined and then try to overwrite all the existed code combination and providing the based on our output of the information. So click on done. So now we are good. Let's try to create one invoice. Go to navigation, select invoices under payables. Task, create invoice. Business unit US1, supplier ABC. ABC Consulting, say OK. CC, UIR, 001. Cost Center, Account Roll, $150. See, that's what I, we mentioned, the, the rule, right? Type is standard. This rule is only applicable for the only standard invoice type. If you're selecting, debit memo, credit memo, or a retainage release, or withholding tax, or prepayment, then that won't be work for us, okay? So while we are selecting this type, be more cautious on that. And save, okay. Click on save. Provide live information. Click on plus symbol. Enter $150 as a line value and the distribution set commonly we have taken as a demo purpose and uh, save the record. Alt control V for do the validation of the invoice. It is revalidation, tax got calculated. So total invoice value is 163.50. Again, do the revalidation of the invoice. Yes, it got validated. Approval is not required at presently. That's what we are not sending for the approval. Here you can see there is no initiate tab also. We are good. And now just notice what is the liability account combination here. So this is the liability code combination. 101, 10, 22, 100, 000, 000, 000. That is That is what I mentioned here. Current liability account. So now our expectation, right? So already we did all the configurations which is required. And we will see that once we run the create accounting for this invoice, we'll notice that what is the liability account code combination will be transferred to GL. Go to invoice, go to invoice action. Accounting draft. Always better first time when you run the create accounting, keep it as a draft in draft mode. That would be the right approach. If everything looks good, then we can run the create accounting in the final mode. Accounting index, uh, sorry. Yeah, accounting index has been generated. So just scroll down. Take liberty. Yeah, here you can notice that liberty account is is the liberty. 
notice here. So this is what our expectation based on the our requirement, right? So notice here. It got overrided, isn't it? So this is how we can create n number of accounts rules, n number of mapping sets, and uh, line rule sets also. So this is how we can configure this mapping sets and accounts rules whenever we need it. I hope you enjoyed a lot about this this functionality. Thanks for watching my video. Please do uh, subscribe and uh, share and keep your comments also. It would be really encouraged for us. Thank you.